welcome back to the Brows Brunch or welcome if you're new here. I'm Courtney and today is grocery day. Um, we didn't do Walmart grocery pickup this time. It's just been kind of hectic the last couple days and didn't get a chance to even look at it. So Travis actually went and got the groceries. Woohoo! For when I don't have to go get the groceries. This week's grocery haul was 160, so a little bit more than we spend normally, but there was some stuff that wasn't considered groceries as far as our grocery budget goes. Um, you guys know we try to stay around 125, 130 for our groceries, but then we have a separate fund for like toiletries and I include um, toilet paper, paper towels, that sort of thing, anything that's not actually groceries in that. Um, so we have a small budget for that every month too. So we technically, I don't think we actually went over budget. I'm pretty sure we're right there in it. And the rest of it was the extra at the 160 worth. So I'll be sharing the meal plan as usual, what we plan to make throughout the week to give you guys some new meal ideas, just let you in on what we're cooking and what you'll see in my what's for dinner videos on Fridays. Um, and then the prices will be included as always too. Oh, and I just want to say that because I know a lot of you guys have been asking about my back and it's unfortunately still hurting. I think it's getting a bit better though. Very, very, very slowly, but it is getting better um, gradually. But at this point, I just feel like I'm complaining about it. So I don't even want to talk about it, I guess. Just, I don't know, it still hurts. I'm dealing with it. <laughs> so let's get on into the grocery haul. I'll show you everything we got. So we've got the table full of stuff and I'll just start over here. We are doing those hot dogs that we did in the oven. Um, if you watch my what's for dinner video, we did like oven baked hot dogs. So we are doing those with my brother and his family. So we got two packs of buns and then some King's Hawaiian rolls, French bread. <laughs> I asked for French bread, which I mean, obviously this does the same deal. It's just kind of funny because he um, texted me while he was in the store. I had sliced French bread and he said, they don't have any sliced French bread, just regular. So, I mean, is this the new French bread? <laughs> Anyway, it's fun. I just thought that was kind of funny because he even texted me saying they only had the regular French bread. But we've got an Italian loaf there. And then just a normal loaf of bread for cheese. He got a two cup bag of mild cheddar cheese and Parmesan cheese. We've got some smiley fries. I love these. We had those in school growing up and our kids love them. They're really good. Um, some hash brown potatoes with onions and peppers. That was one of the things that I needed for one of the breakfast meals that I was going to do for the video. A lot of you guys said you wanted to see it, so I'm definitely going to do it. And I forgot these last week, so I got these today. And I'm actually filming those breakfast recipes right now while, like, in between filming this. Um, so I will be making that. And if all goes well, that video will be up two days after you guys are seeing this, so Wednesday. And I'm excited about it. I think they're going to be yummy. And then we've got some graham crackers here and some vanilla wafers. I saw Amanda at Faith Food and Family here on YouTube. Um, she had made some, I literally just watched that this morning and texted Travis while he, he was in the store to get some of these to go with it, but she made some brownie batter dip in a recent video that just looks absolutely amazing. So I think I'm gonna make that um, tomorrow for game day just to have a little dessert. So I had these on the list for Travis to get just some like the individual pizzas for the boys because they've been like a pizza lately. So I thought I would try those out you know, easy lunches or just for one of those nights for supper when we cook something that I just absolutely know that they're not going to want. Um, we've got those on hand. We've got some bow tie noodles for a pasta recipe, some more cinnamon toast crunch, and then these cornflakes. Um, we'll probably eat some of it, even though I kind of think it's a little bland, but that's actually for a chicken recipe that I'm going to make. Then moving over here, we've got some hot dogs for tomorrow for those oven baked hot dogs some ground beef, and then two packs of chicken breast. One of them 650 and one of them 630. That's pretty on point there. Um, we needed some baking soda, so we got a box of that. Some nacho cheese Doritos, original wavy potato chips, and whoops, I'm knocking stuff over. And then some tortilla chips as well. Um, also, tomorrow, game day, we're also making crock pot meatballs and crock pot buffalo chicken dips. So we got some of this chicken, the two pack, a bottle of ranch dressing. And I don't know, should I film that? I, I don't know if I make it differently than anybody else, but it's really, really good. I might put it in this video. And if I do, it'll be just like a short, quick one um, just to have on my channel for me to go reference to when I need to make it. And other people could too really easily. So I might do that. Then I also got some chili sauce, which is for the meatballs, and then the hot sauce for the chicken dip. This did not want to focus. I've been sitting here for a minute. I had Cajun style seasoning on the list, so he got this kind. I probably wouldn't have ever even found it. It's all-purpose seasoning, spicy Louisiana classic. Um, that's for a recipe. 
Cajun pasta actually, I think is what that's for. And then we were out of garlic powder just about, so we got a bottle of that. Yogurt for the boys. And then Travis said to put popsicles on the list, and so we got some of those. We haven't actually got those in a while. Um, a two pack of cream cheese. We've got some red potatoes here. I wanna do some roasted pota potatoes one night. Red pepper, green pepper. I feel like these are just about in every grocery haul too. As well as the apples. Like we take apple a day keeps the doctor away. <laughs> Very seriously, I guess. You would think so with as many apples as we eat in here. And then we got two more zucchini because I made those zucchini fries. If you watch my What's For Dinner video, you know what I'm talking about. And they turned out good in the oven. Like they tasted really good. The flavor was amazing. But I think they could even be even better in the air fryer. I don't know for sure, but that's what I'm going to try this week. Also got some oranges. Great requested me to get some of those. And then y'all, the strawberries last week looked pretty good other than the one on top having just a small piece of mold on it. And I don't even know if the camera's going to pick this up, but y'all... <laughs> These are gross. And then I turned it over and there was actually two bugs in it. Um, so that's very appetizing, but they just don't look good. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It'll be okay. Maybe I can do that little test where you soak them and like clean them to get the worms out. It'll definitely have some bugs and stuff come out in hours. <laughs> uh, love him to death, but those do not look good. We got some double stuffed Oreos and then these things I absolutely love. I think they taste amazing. Probably too good because I can eat them all in one sitting. I ain't gonna lie. Or maybe two sittings. I don't know. <laughs> if I really wanted to, probably. But anyway, these are really, really good and they've actually been out of them for the last two weeks. I've tried to get them. So I'm excited that he found those. And then we've got our usuals. We've got some milk, chocolate milk, and then I actually wanted some apple juice. So he grabbed some of that. And then this is for the meatballs as well, which this normally wouldn't be enough for it, but I think I've got half of another container in the fridge already. We've got some more of the Allen style Italian green beans that I love to make. And then this is my Nutella for the week, y'all. I mean, maybe I haven't talked to him yet, so maybe they were just out of actual Nutella, but I'm not too picky about brands that often. I asked you guys about the ranch last week, but um, Nutella is one of them because it's so good. I'm sure maybe this is still good, but I always get the Nutella in like the biggest jar that they have, but it's all good. I'm just poking fun because I know he'll see this and giving him a hard time. Um, we're trying to stick to a budget and he knows that, so it's totally fine. I'll try it out and maybe who knows, I might actually like it. We also got some more eggs and last week I got two things of it and I think our refrigerator's messed up because it got down to 29 degrees in our refrigerator and we can't get it up. So they're coming to look at it because it's still under warranty um, next week sometime, I believe. But I had the eggs on the top shelf where I always have them and never had any problems until this time. And it literally froze two cartons of eggs and over half of them were cracked and open. So I got some more eggs. <laughs> this is the stuff that I would consider non-groceries. So I needed some more toothpaste. We got some napkins. So we got some more paper towels. And then also this thing, the bowl fresh, I don't know. It's the thing that you stick in your toilet <laughs> to keep it fresher longer. And then some dish detergent. And then he also picked up a couple different little cleaning things. They weren't on the list, but um, he knew that we needed them. And he got some pledge restoring oil. I say he knew because I don't even know what he's using it for. I can't even remember what he told me just 10 minutes ago. <laughs> and then he also got some stainless steel cleaner, which we do need that, definitely. I'm not sure what the oil's for, though. Um, but that is all of the groceries. Now let me show you the meal plan. For the meal plan, like I said, tomorrow we're doing that chili cheese dogs, meatballs, buffalo chicken dip. Chicken dip? What did I just say? <laughs> and then chips. And I think my sister-in-law is going to make some um, guacamole and bring that over, too. And then Monday we're going to do, if there's leftovers, which... I think there will. I might even just put some aside because it makes a lot. Some buffalo chicken quesadillas is what I'm going to do with the zucchini fries in the air fryer. Tuesday, I'm going to do cheeseburger sliders with green beans and fries, which actually Travis um, volunteered to make those. He made those, it's probably been a year now ago when he made them and we all really liked them and just haven't had them since. And y'all, I hope you know that I was just playing with Travis, giving him a hard time, pointing out all the things that he got that were different than what they were supposed to be. I just think it's really funny and um, I really do appreciate all of that he does, like volunteering to go to the grocery store and cooking meals and just all of it. 
like right now he's outside playing with the kids while I'm filming. So thank you, Travis. Um, just had to say that really quick. Wednesday, I'm gonna do some honey barbecue popcorn chicken. This one sounds really good, right up my alley, with some roasted potatoes and frozen broccoli on the side. Thursday will be takeout. Friday is Fin so Friday, and then Saturday is Cajun chicken pasta. And this is just down here because I realized I was wasting paper and I can do two weeks on one page. So that's what I'm gonna be doing in the future. And last week I asked you guys like how you do your grocery list and haul or whatever. And a lot of you actually said on paper as well. So that was kind of cool or in planners, which um, I have a budgeting planner that I got on Amazon recently that I'm really, really liking. Before that I was doing it on paper, but I needed something more. And then, um, but I don't really do like a day-to-day -day planner. For YouTube, I have a board in my room on the wall. I don't really use it because I don't do too many videos outside of my normal Monday grocery hauls and Friday what's for dinner videos. But I wanna do more like throughout the week. Um, I think I'm to the point where I can, but before it was just overwhelming. But I think I might slowly get to three, maybe every other Wednesday or something like that. This week though, I decided to just turn you around because I had more to say. This week though, I actually am planning on doing more than my normal two videos because of that breakfast video on Wednesday. And then I'll also probably make my giveaway video um, on a separate day. And this one's not gonna be like a gift card or anything for the giveaway. It's gonna be a couple of my favorite kitchen things that we have and like something that I've gotten the most questions asked on. So I'm excited for you guys to see that. And then also, I might, it'll be a really, really short video, but I might do a um, Valentine's, like what I got my kids for Valentine's Day. I've had it for a while and it came from Target, most of the stuff. I think I'm done getting their Valentine's. I'll have to look at it. Um, and then possibly the chicken dip, I don't know. See, I get really excited and motivated on certain days, like today, you can tell I'm motivated to do videos. And then other days, it all goes to crap and I don't feel like doing any of it. So, we'll see. <laughs> But I hope you guys enjoyed the grocery haul and seeing what all we got for our family of four for the week and seeing the meal plan. Um, I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye y'all.